Greetings. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Tai Chi walking and what Tai Chi walking is all about. So basically, uh, with the basic principles of Tai Chi, uh, the uh, it helps to balance the muscles in the body. It keeps you, it helps to keep you balanced when you walk and whatever you do. It also helps to stimulate the uh, lymph system. The lymph system is not normally uh, the lymph system is not normally active unless your body is active. But for instance, the blood is continually being active because your heart is pumping it through. But in order to pump the lymph system, which is the filters of the body, the body must be active. So um, those are two things about Tai Chi that are good. One, it helps to keep the body balanced um, and it also uh, keeps the limb, limb system uh, flowing. So let's talk a little bit about the Tai Chi walking. Tai Chi walking basically is, for instance, the Tai Chi stance starts out like this, basically shoulder distance apart, feet and with the toes straight ahead. The back is straight, the head is lifted, the chin is tucked in so the spine is straight. And then we're gonna just slide one foot straight back. Now from here, there's a, a sit stance, which is the back uh, stance, and then the bow stance, which is the front stance. The spine is always kept straight as if there were a plumb line running down from your ear. So the spine is straight here. So we always keep the spine straight. It's like you have a bucket of water on your head and you want to keep that bucket upright. Okay, so you always keep the spine straight. So as if you have a bucket of water on your head, you're keeping the bucket of water straight on the top of your head. So from here, We'll bring one leg back, this is the 45, the back leg is the 45, the front leg is straight ahead, the spine is straight, the pelvis is square to the front where this leg is straight, pointing straight out. And so from here basically the Tai Chi walking is shifting and lifting that toe up, turning slightly and then bringing the back foot up close to the front foot here. And if you want to challenge yourself, you just hold that up in the air for a, uh, a while. And so this gets the idea, gets your body, gives your idea, gives your body the idea that before stepping forward, we're going to securely be on one foot. And then we're going to uh, bring that other foot out, 45 degree angle in front of you, and then shift forward on that into the front bow stance. So we're in the front bow stance once again. The spine is straight. We have that plumb line keeping the spine straight. The head is lifted, elongating the spine. So the energy gets in between all the little vertebrae. The spine is like a redwood tree with all the vertebrae stacked squarely on top of each other. And then so from here, we're going to once again shift back and then bring this toe out slightly. And then shift forward and then bring that other foot in or up. Give your body that idea that we're moving forward, but before we're moving forward, we're gonna be securely planted on one foot. And then once again, reaching out with the heel and then shifting forward into the bow stance. So basically what, ha what we're trying to do is we're trying to give our muscular, skeletal, subconscious blueprint, the idea that before stepping forward, we're going to be secure on one foot before we step forward. Okay? So the idea of this is basically to prevent falls. So we're preventing falls by shifting being secure on one foot 
shifting, being secure on the next move. So we're avoiding falls. The way we could avoid falls, for instance, if you always have this forward momentum as you walk, then what happens is, for instance, the next step you took, if you were to slip, you'd have that forward momentum and you uh, may fall. Or if you don't, you could join the circus with some balancing act. But basically, that's what we're doing here. We're isolating, slowly shifting, running these uh, muscles through the range of movement so that we don't skip any muscle tone. Okay? This, these, this is the Tai Chi walk. So that's what it's all about. It's about integrating solid steps in so we avoid the forward momentum and the possibility of slipping if the front foot is not secure. Okay, so let's go back to the basic Tai Chi uh, beginning of the form. So the beginning of the form starts out like this. I've nicknamed this the Charlie Chaplin position, where the toes are out slightly, the heels are together, the back is straight, the knees are bent, chin is tucked in, the head is lifted, the underarms are open, the chest is sort of hollow. And we practice this quite a bit. It's like you have this beach ball, right? You're holding this beach ball, and you need to concave your chest in order to hold that beach ball correctly. So from here, once again, back is straight, knees are bent slightly. We're going to shift the weight to the right, step to the left, shift the weight to the left, adjust the right foot so the toe is straight ahead. Now we have both toes straight ahead here. It's important to have both toes straight ahead because it allows your spine to um, become straight with the least amount of effort. If your feet are out like this, it takes greater effort to keep your spine straight. So we always have the toes straight ahead. Okay, so from here we're gonna, like we're inflating, we're sort of jumping, getting ready to jump here. Slowly running the legs through the range of movement. As we lift up, we're gonna lift the hands up. And then like you're rolling a ball back toward you and then sort of pushing it down. So inhale, nice deep breath here. Roll the shoulders back, keep the spine and head straight. The head floating as you sink. As the head floats, the body sinks and elongates the spine. The underarms are open. So once again here, back straight, check your posture. So what we wanna do is we wanna keep the weight evenly distributed on the bottom of the feet. Close your eyes, feel, sense, or imagine the weight on the bottom of the feet evenly balanced on each foot. Feet are flat on the floor, back is straight, head is floating, underarms are open. And then we're going to shift and then step, reach with that heel, and then shift and adjust. Centered here again, toes straight ahead. Why are the toes straight? Because it's easier to keep your spine straight and in alignment at this point. So, toes are straight. Now from here, we're going to, as though we're getting ready to jump. Getting ready to jump. As we jump, we're gonna inflate a big ball of energy, big force field in front of us and then roll it back toward you in 
the fingers point up slightly as the body sinks down, the head stays floating. Why does the head stay floating? It allows the energy to flow between all the little vertebrae. Once again, so you're jumping and then rolling that ball back toward you and then pushing down. The head stays floating because it allows the energy or the chi to flow through the spine better. Okay, so that's your Tai Chi lesson for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.